I'm Rachel Ray, and today I am working on some cozy food, a great comfort food classic, macaroni and cheese, but this one's made with chicken and broccoli mixed right in. And this is the perfect kind of meal if you've had a really hard day, or it's really cold outside, or even if you just feel a little bit of a cold coming on, this is the kind of food that just kind of makes you right again. Now, I've got three different pots going on here. Let me explain. This first pot, I made a quick roux, just flour and butter in equal amounts. I used three tablespoons of each, and then I added my own mix of both milk and a little bit of chicken stock. I like adding stock to my cheese sauces because it just deepens the flavor a little bit for me. And now I'm gonna season it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. That gives it some heat. And you wanna be really cautious with this and put a little bit into the palm of your hand and take a couple pinches from the palm of your hand and put it into the pot. If you just go ahead and turn the bottle upside down, whoa, you could go really overboard with that. Now, a uh, nice sweet balance to that is a little sweet paprika here. I'm gonna measure that in the palm of my hand as well. It adds a little bit of color to the sauce and a little bit of pep. About a teaspoon of that I'm gonna add. And then I'm just gonna whisk that together. I'm gonna hold off on putting some salt in. I'm gonna let this thicken up over a nice low flame and then right before we're ready to go put this whole thing together, we'll add our cheese in and a little bit of mustard. That's another little secret ingredient. And then we'll taste it for some seasoning then. Now my back skillet here, it's skillet number, uh, pan number two I've got going. I browned up some chicken tenders. All white meat chicken, diced it into bite-sized pieces, put it in there with one medium onion. Now that's good to go. In a couple of minutes, it's browned up on both sides. I'm just gonna turn it way back so that it just hangs out and stays warm till we're ready to put dinner together. Now my third pot here, I have some water, brought it up to a boil, that's for my macaroni. Season up the water, it's the only chance you have to season the pasta itself. Now I'm using a pound of elbows here, but you could use any shortcut pasta you have on hand. Penne would be great in here, a little ziti would be fine, or some cavatappi, I love those, little corkscrew, corkscrew shaped pastas, they're awesome. Now I'm going to just give this a little stir. I'm gonna put the florets right into the same cooking water as the pasta, why dirty up another pot, right? I'm gonna drain this off now, because remember I said I wanted the pasta to still have a bite to it, and I don't want my broccoli to lose all of its color. So I'm gonna take a little break from our salad and just get this out and drained off. Now this is a mac and cheddar and chicken and broccoli that you can make entirely on the stove top. We're not putting it in the oven, but if your family likes to fight over the crunchy cheese top, by all means you could put even extra cheese and breadcrumbs on top and just pop it underneath the broiler. Now I've got the pasta and the broccoli drained off. I'm gonna put it back in the same pot to try and get rid of that, a little bit of that residual cooking water. Let that hang out. Now to our sauce, it's thickened up beautifully by the way, I'm gonna add one sack of already shredded cheddar. You get this on the dairy aisle, it weighs 10 ounces and there's two and a half cups of cheddar in there. And then I'm gonna add in my secret ingredient, a little bit of mustard, a little spoonful of the Dijon mustard is the thing that makes them go, hmm, what is that? Get a spoonful of that in there. Now while that's melting up and getting good, let's get our chicken, yeah, the handle's still pretty cool here. Let's get our chicken transferred into the pot with the pasta. And our sauce is perfect, look at that, just came together perfectly. Pour all that cheesy goodness right down over the top. How insane does that look? Yum, yum, yum. Then you gotta really work it right up from the bottom there. You see why I said even if you're cooking for one, go ahead and make the whole dish? Look at that. It looks and smells amazing. 